here is that group the day they filed grievances against the mayor for his refusal to swear them in as full time Houston firefighters. Today's notice to lay them off in 60 days, not a surprise, but certainly not welcome, and it could be the first of many more layoffs. For months, these trained but unsworn firefighters stuck it out at the academy. After completing everything the city of Houston asked them to do, the city decided in the face of Prop B, there wasn't enough money to pay them as firefighters. Joel DeRosso was one of those cadets. He had enough and quit months ago. Do they understand why they're just sitting around digging ditches? <laughs> Not at all. Just uh, the mayor's vindictiveness. You believe that? I do. We showed you the work those cadets were doing, sometimes digging holes, other hours spent pouring concrete at the academy. Months ago, Fire Chief Sampagna told us it simply was not a good use for these cadets. The best uh, and the most efficient use of our, these resources is, uh, is out in the field protecting uh, the community. But today it is Pena's name on the memo letting all 66 of the cadets go effective June 7th, blaming it according to the letter on a sizable budget shortfall due to the implementation of Prop B. The firefighters union puts blame squarely on Pena's boss, Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner. It's clear that his ego and his vindictiveness have hit an all new low. And it should be concerning and alarming to all the citizens. The firefighters union still suggests there is time for a deal that could avoid 380 more layoffs of sworn firefighters. Those layoff notices, which would need city council approval, may be sent later this month. We need to try to make certain we save these people, man. It's, it's a sad day in this city when people are losing their job due to no fault of their own. Houston mayoral candidate Bill King called the layoffs pure vindictiveness and a stupid waste of the $3 million Houston spent on cadet training. King sent along this spreadsheet today reminding us that the city of Houston's hired 269 people since a post-election hiring freeze was announced, including two new hires in the mayor's communications office. Interestingly, none of the staffers there have words on the layoffs, the mayor's office saying that could come later. Mayoral candidate Tony Busby weighing in saying, how about cutting his? Is Mayor Turner's bloated city staff, reducing the number of lawyers at City Hall or canceling contracts that offer little or no value to the city. The mayor says Tony Busby made no effort.